Hello and welcome to Super Science. Today we're going to explain the nitrogen cycle and how to cycle a fish tank. This is by far the most important concept to understand when starting a new aquarium, but it's also pretty important to keep existing aquariums healthy. So let's break down the cycle into five easy steps. Number one, the introduction of nitrogen through fish food. Number two, fish poop and make ammonia. Number three, bacteria convert ammonia into nitrites. Number four, bacteria convert nitrites into nitrates. And number five, nitrates are removed by the plants or by water changes. Now let's go into a little bit more detail in each step so you can fully understand your aquarium. All fish foods are going to be nitrogen based, so no matter what, you're adding nitrogen into your tank. You can't stop it. You have to feed your fish. But be careful when starting a new tank not to overfeed. Maybe just once a day, especially when starting a new tank, is more than enough. Of course, fish are going to poop. You're going to get ammonia in your tank. Sadly, ammonia is super toxic to fish, so we have to get rid of it somehow. So here comes the superhero, Nitrosomus bacteria. They use oxygen to oxidize it and convert the ammonia into nitrite. Sadly, nitrite is also super toxic to fish. So I think you know where we're going here, right? We have to get rid of it somehow. Well, luckily, we've got another superhero here, Nitrobacter bacteria. They use oxygen to oxidize the nitrite even further and convert the nitrite into nitrate. And nitrate is great. K kind of, kind of. Nitrates are still mildly toxic, but much less than ammonia and nitrite. So we have to get rid of it by either having plants in our tank or by doing water changes about once a week or so. So in a nutshell, nitrogen enters our tank through food and fish waste, ammonia is converted to nitrite, nitrite is converted into nitrate, and then we have to remove it. But we still never explained cycling. So how do you cycle a tank? It's actually a lot easier than you might think, but it requires time. You can fill up your aquarium, add a filter, maybe an airstone, throw in some fish food every once in a while, and then wait. Cycling can take a pretty long time, but usually finishes in about a month or so from a fresh start. It's normal to see a whitish cloudy color every once in a while. They're just bacterial blooms that'll last a few days. I don't fully recommend it, but you can add fish to your tank during the cycling process. But it's best to add just a few hardy fish. I know you're excited to fill your tank with tons of new awesome fish, but if you overstock your tank you're going to cause an ammonia or nitrite spike, and your fish probably won't make it. It's best to wait until your tank is fully cycled before you add your fish. You can check the nitrogen levels with a variety of different tests on the market right now. There are some ways to speed up the cycling process, but it involves taking filter media, gravel, or decorations from an established tank. Of course, adding more bacteria will speed up the process. but not all of us have an established tank already. So there are some products that you can buy that contain the bacteria, but I don't really recommend them. How do you know you're actually getting the live bacteria? It's kind of hard to know. So hopefully it helped some new aquarium hobbies learn how to keep their fish happier and healthier. And of course, thanks for watching and have a super duper delicious day.